Good morning, my dear children. This is P. Vasanta Kumar, social teacher from DAV High School, SDSTPS, AP Genko, Naltur. Welcome to the chapter Tanks and Groundwater, second part. In the earlier class, we learned explain about tanks and the usage of tanks and describe the decline of tanks in our times. Learning objectives of this lesson. By the end of the chapter, you will be able to know the importance and use of groundwater, describe rocks and groundwater in Andhra Pradesh. Dear children, we know rainwater flows down the streams or rivers. Not only that, but also slowly goes down into the soil. This water accumulates below the ground in the gaps between rocks, pebbles and sand etc. This is called groundwater. It is stored in and moves slowly through geological formation of soil, sand and rocks called aquifers. The upper level of an underground surface in which the soil or rocks are permanently saturated with water is known as groundwater table. Groundwater is recharged and flows to the surface naturally. The natural discharge often occurs at springs and seeps and can form oases or wetlands. It is used for agricultural, municipal and industrial purpose by constructing and operating extraction wells. Water cannot enter into the sandstones which are found in Kamam district and other rocks like granite, kadapa limestone, etc. They are very hard and do not have pores in them. Groundwater usually gets collected above these types of rocks. These rocks are called impervious rocks since the water cannot go beneath them. The rocks through which water passes are called pervious rocks. The deep layers of sand, soil and pebbles are present in the region which are next to rivers. The water accumulates in all these layers. Aquifer is a layer of water which accumulates under the ground among rocks and its thickness determines the availability of groundwater in the area. Water table is the depth at which the soil pore spaces or cracks and voids in rock become completely saturated with water. It describes the boundary which is in between the water saturated ground and unsaturated ground. An accumulation of groundwater which is above the water table in the unsaturated zone is known as perched water table. The groundwater is usually trapped above an impermeable soil layer such as clay and actually forms a lens of saturated material in the unsaturated zone. Actually, it does not supply sufficient domestic groundwater. It runs dry after being drilled. It may be manifested by springs or seeps along the line of intersection if it intersects a sloping surface. The range of the movement of groundwater is 1 inch to 1000 feet per day and it moves very slowly. It also flows laterally, roughly parallel to the slope of the surface of the water table in addition to moving vertically downward for the hundreds of feet. The water levels in the wells which are shown in the image are the same. This is the water level in the wells after the rains. Water is available at a depth of 5 meters in all these wells 
it means if any well is dug near this region then the depth of the water strike will be the same this is the level of groundwater which is also called the water table the water level will never be constant in summer season the water level decreases and increases in monsoon season most of the granite rocks are found under the soil which is very hard and impervious the top portion of these rocks about 20 meters is broken weathered and they carry water it has deep cracks which are 50 to 100 meters depth the water which is present in the top weathered layer is tapped when ordinary wells are dug drill machines are used to dig the tube wells which reach the deep cracks and draw water from them most of the predominant rocks are not granites but the kadapa types of limestone rocks are very hard they are broken to accumulate the water in the gaps availability of water in these rocks is between 3 to 15 meters below the ground level therefore the wells are dug up to 16 meters the adjacent areas near the krishna and godavari rivers have deep layers of sand and silt the water level here depends upon the water in the river it is very easy to dig wells in these regions because they have plenty of water which is at 5 to 7 meters below the ground level further session we will discuss from this chapter explain about groundwater recharge and identify the quality of groundwater thank you